So now I'm going to skip down to number 7, and you'll notice the A value is negative. And so if the A value is negative, so if A is less than 0, then this parabola is going to open upside down like this. Uh, back in number 4, when the A value is positive, the parabola will open up, um, right side up. So in this case, A is negative 2. Okay, and then our vertex again is going to be uh, negative 1 because the x coordinate is negative 1 because this is a, always going to be the opposite sign of this number. And then the y coordinate is whatever this number is out here, so negative 4. Um, so then to graph this, I know my, my vertex is at negative 1 and then down 4, and this is by 2s. So negative 1 is actually right here, and then down 4 is here. Okay, and now, again, to find the y-intercept, we plug in 0 in 4x. So negative 2 times 0 plus 1 squared minus 4. And we have, that's going to be 1 squared, which is just 1. And then we do the multiplication first, so we get negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. So our y-intercept is 2, 4, 6 is right here, which means I'm going to have another point here because this is going to be the axis of symmetry. And so my parabola is going to look something like this. Okay, and we could graph that on Desmos um, just to, to check. Um, I'm going to go through just to give you some different, um, just to show you the, how to write the vertex of these. So the vertex of this one would be negative 2 because it's the opposite sign, and then negative 4. That would be the y-coordinate. This vertex would be positive 4 and positive 8. So that's one thing I'm going to have you do in your homework is tell me things like the vertex and does it open up or down. So I won't have you graphing anything. So this one would, since a value is, is positive, this would open up. And since this one, a value is negative, it would open down, meaning down like that, and up, meaning it opens up like this. Okay, so I'm going to go down to what's called intercept form, which is right here where you can't, um, you can't tell the vertex, but you can tell the x-intercepts. That's why we call this intercept form. So if we set this equal to 0, uh, so we're replacing y with 0, actually. Let's, let's do that instead. If we make y equal to 0, then we're trying to figure out what values of x would make this equation true. Well, it would just be the opposite signs here. So if x was negative 2, if I plug in negative 2 right here, then I get negative 2 plus 2 is 0. And then it, I plug in negative 2 here, because I have to plug in the same number for both, I get 0 times negative 6, which is just 0. So negative 2 would be here, is going to be one of our x-intercepts. Now, the other x-intercept would be, if you look at the second half of the equation, if we, if we plug in 4 for this x, we get 0 over here, and then it doesn't matter what's over here. If I plug in 4 here, this is going to be 6, but it's still going to be 0. So 4 is the other x-intercept, okay? And now, to graph this, we look at the a value, which is positive 1, which means it's going to open um, up, okay? That's one thing I'll ask you in the homework. And now we just need to find the another point, or, or if we need to find the vertex because we need to know well, like, how far down does this go, and then we can connect it. So to get the vertex, it says label the vertex axis of symmetry, we need to use this equation, x equals negative b over 2a. So we have to get this into standard form first. So we have to multiply it out again. Do the first two, so that's x squared. Then do the outside, so I'll write this again, foil first, outside, inside last. OK, 
Okay, the outside is x times negative 4, which is negative 4x. The inside is 2 times x, so that's plus 2x. And the last two terms are 2 times negative 4, which is negative 8. So then we combine like terms, and we get negative 4x plus 2x is negative 2x, and minus 8 over here. Now we can use this equation. b is negative 2, so we're going to do x equals positive 2, because it says do negative b, so we're doing the opposite sign of b, over 2 times a, and a in this case is 1. So our axis of symmetry is at x equals 1, which is right here. Okay, but now I need to figure out how far down do I go for my uh, y coordinate. So I need to plug in 1 into, if I call this y, this is standard form, I could plug in 1 here into both of these x's, or I can plug in 1 into the original equation, which in this case would be easier. I could plug in 1 here, and I get uh, 1 plus 2, which is 3, and I get 1 minus 4, which is negative 3, and then I multiply them together, and I get negative 9. So that's down here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So that's where my vertex is, uh, 1, common negative 9. We could also plug in 1 here. 1 squared is 1, minus 2 times 1 is minus 2, and then minus 8. 1 minus 2 minus 8 is also negative 9. So I can sketch my graph like this. Okay, should look a little bit more symmetric than that, but I think you get the idea. Okay, that's it for this video, and I'll make one more, going through one more topic.